But speaking about it. Oh my gosh, the man, the, the myth, man, the legend. The myth, the legend himself. Woo! James Guy, and welcome. <laughs> we, we're here. Are we live? We're, we're live. Oh no. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> the pressure. A little bit of sweat. It's okay. No. <laughs> All right, so you are bringing your Guardian team back for one last ride. One last ride, but was there anything that you wanted to push with this team and with this film this, this time around? I just wanted to be absolutely sure that we honored the characters, that we honored the fans and we gave each of the characters just the best send-off that we possibly could. I thought it was really important that I wanted to tell Rocket's story, find out where he came from. These guys like that, obviously, so I'm excited about I'm excited about it. I can't I, wait for people to see it. I mean, you've talked about Rocket so much, about how you identify him with him in some ways, and he's, he was such a central part to end this trilogy with. Why Rocket, and what is it about him that really touches you? Well, I think from the beginning, Rocket was my entry into the Guardians in terms of creatively. You know, when Marvel first came to me and they talked to me about perhaps doing this movie, I wasn't certain. I thought maybe it would come off like Bugs Bunny in the middle of the <laughs> Avengers or something silly like that. And as I was driving home from the meeting, I sat there and I said, well, wait a second. If there was a raccoon that was, you know, talking and shooting people with machine guns, how would it have come to be? And I realized it was just the saddest story that I could imagine. Yeah. And that was, for me, the seeds of the entire franchise that have you know, driven all three movies and the special and everything else they've done. You know, I'm wondering, though, with this, you know, this is such a beloved franchise. Fans across the globe love it so much. What do you think that people connect? Why do people connect with Guardians so much? What resonates so much with people? I think out of all the different franchises, Guardians is the one that's for the oddball, the rebels, the outcasts, the geeks. This is a group of outsiders, and I think at the end of the day, you know, most of us feel that way. And so the Guardians speak to them. I think each of the Guardians has a different personality, and everybody in their life knows a Nebula. They know a Drax. They know a Rocket. Maybe not a Groot, but maybe. <laughs> uh, I know a Groot or two. Yeah. <laughs> well, James, you have such a devoted fan base, but you are such a fan of the MCU and Marvel itself. And so what are you really hoping these fans take away with this final ride? I hope that, you know, you know, I hope what I hope for with every movie. I hope that people go, they see it in a the theater, they're sitting with somebody that they care about or somebody maybe they don't even know, but they walk out feeling a little better about the people next to them than, the, you know, before they walked in, that they feel better about themselves, maybe a little bit. Yeah. You know, I think this movie is about accepting ourselves. Um, you know, the first movie was about the relationship with the mother. The second movie was about the relationship with the father. Mm. This one is about the relationship to the self. So hopefully, you know, that's something that resonates with audiences. You always take us on a journey, you know, I feel like it's, you know, therapy on the big screen in a beautiful, <laughs> fun way. So thank you so much for making these films for the Misfits, the Outcasts, for all of us, our found family. We're going to thank you, James thank Gunn. Thank you, you so much. Thank Have you. a great night.